From man's earliest days, the problem of moving and controlling liquids has been an issue of great importance, even of survival. By 500 BC, the water wheel was a common sight throughout the known world. Around 230 BC, Archimedes invented the water screw, which is still in use today. In 50 AD, Hero of Alexandria invented Hero's steam machine, a primitive steam turbine. Then in the 1700s, through the work of Thomas Newcomen and James Watt, the steam pumping engine, and thus the modern pump industry, was born. Over the last 250 years, pumping technology has evolved to the highest levels of integrated engineering sciences. If we go back and look again at the heritage companies, which are made up of a good many, the dominant technological skill in all of those companies has been hydraulics. We have a baseline of experience from which we can move ahead. So from that perspective, we're, we're well positioned to move into almost any area of, of technology. One of the great things about uh, this company, especially when it comes to technology, is that we have uh, several centers of excellence, with, with, which are virtual centers of excellence uh, in various fields. Fluid dynamics is one. We also have mechanical analysis, mechanical design, materials, mechatronics. When anything happens in the field or a customer likes an advice or is asking for something, uh, we are gladly to give it. And we tend to step uh, beyond boundaries. The organization these men are talking about is FlowServe, one of the world's largest pump companies. Tracing its heritage back to 1790 London, FlowServe is the undisputed leader in pumping technology with an exhaustive list of industry firsts to its credit. Most of the engineered pumping machines operating in the world today were derived from original design concepts developed by entrepreneurial engineers from FlowServe heritage companies. Today, FlowServe continues to possess a passionate commitment to technology and innovation. In fact, it is one of the company's core strategies. Through its applied technology group, this research and development expertise in fluid dynamics, mechanical design, engineering analysis, mechatronics and material science is now available to those pursuing creative, innovative solutions to pumping problems. If we look at high energy machines, higher speed gives you physically smaller machines. That poses its difficulty though because you have to get the fluid dynamics correct and you really have to get them very correct in order to run machines at very high speeds. The, the main field of interest uh, nowadays is cavitation. It always has been uh, in uh, pump applications and still is. And CFD is a great tool nowadays to study that in more detail. When uh, doing a cavitation study or an analysis, uh, we try to determine uh, the shape of the cavity that will form. And from that uh, cavity shape or cavity length, uh, we will determine the amount of erosion rate that uh, will come from it. Uh, so we know that after uh, one year, two year, three year or ten years time, we have a certain amount of cavitation damage or cavitation pitting. And that's exactly what a customer is interested in. It often occurs that customers still require uh, us to do flow visualization tests on high energy applications. Often what the customer wants to see is a limited amount of uh, sheet cavitation to be sure that the lifetime of the pump is guaranteed. We can visualize when an incipient cavitation is happening, when the first bubble is formed and then take actions to avoid that in the field. We have now coupled the CFD tool with an optimization tool so that together it becomes a design tool. With this design tool we use parameterized uh, models for the pump impeller that we put into a CFD tool. We start by calculating the flow within a passage. Uh, we construct an objective function with uh, the objectives we want to include and then we try with uh, cutting edge uh, numerical techniques like a genetic algorithm to minimize this uh, function so to get uh, the best geometry out of, uh, out of the design space. The adoption of uh, genetic algorithms in the design process uh, is very important because it enables us 
to, uh, to deliver uh, impeller designs that are unconventional and that no one has ever tried before.